Well, hello to you. Now, for the eagle-eyed amongst you, you'll notice that I'm not at home. I'm actually at a therapist's office. For those who said about time, rude. <laughs> no, I'm not here for a session, but, um, well, I can't explain now. Sorry, I'm feeling a little bit anxious. I, uh, oh, I'm not sure I should have chosen the rocking chair. <laughs> it's meant to be relaxing, but, um, if you get the wrong speed, you look a bit manic. <laughs> right, let's all just... Calm down, shall we, and crack on with the show. <laughs> that was a lovely loo. Oh, I do like a nice loo. <laughs> lovely soap. Smell my hands. I don't want to smell your hands. Smell them. Get off. <laughs> He was on the phone. She'll be here in a mo. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like a fart in a bath. <laughs> oh! Oh, help! The tap, the tap, stop! Oh. For his sake! Oh. Get me another oh, car! Hang on. Come on, there we go. Okay. Get another one! <laughs> there aren't any more. Oh, good luck. Cool. Oh, that's Wicker. It's Wicker. All right, all right. All right. Fill that one up. All right, okay. Hold this. All right. Drink that. All right. I need to find a receptacle. Um, oh, quick! I found a receptacle. What? Okay. Right. Try and switch it off. Right. Done it. Oh, good. Oh, phew. Oh. oh, I've got water in his case! <laughs> Hello. Hello. You must be Dr Hopkins. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Sorry, I was just drinking your briefcase. <laughs> um, which might sound a little odd. It's just that I'd wet the floor. <laughs> You know, I haven't weed on it. Will you shut up? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> now, I just want to say that we're not here for a session. It was all a silly misunderstanding. There was a little, what I call, incident in which the police unnecessarily got involved. Well, long story, we won't bore you, but to stop Miranda being arrested and charged, I said she was one pashmina short of a wardrobe. I'm not. She's not. But the police insisted that we get an assessment from a psychiatrist. That's you? That's you. <laughs> they initially put me in touch with one on the... <laughs> well, I said, I'm not going... <laughs> Thank you very much. I mean, what are we, crack whores? <laughs> so, we just need to sit here for the session to tell them we've been. Can we sit anywhere? Wait, wait, Mum. Hmm? There are so many chairs, it might be a psychological test which chair we plump for. Oh, it's a good word, plump, isn't it? <laughs> plump. <laughs> it's a good word, isn't it, I was just saying. Plump. <laughs> just sit down. You have a lot of chairs. <laughs> is this one of those ergonomic ones, is it? <laughs> Up she goes. <laughs> and down she blows. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely chair, isn't it? Hello. <laughs> oh. Oh, it doesn't stop. It's one of those you have to wait till it keeps going. Sorry. We just have to let it go. Oh. Such fun! <laughs> oh! Comes to a very sudden end. You made me look like a fool.
for goodness sake, just act normal. Mm. Well, it's now impossible to act normal when you're trying to act normal. I'm so self-conscious. I sort of don't know how to sit. Hands on knees, legs crossed, legs apart. I sort of feel like I've got too many legs. How is that normal? I don't, like, it's too hard. <laughs> Particularly with a psychiatrist just staring at us and not speaking. Hello again. Hello. <laughs> Perhaps we should explain why we're here, yes. in case you're thinking it's a little what I call odd. <laughs> Simple story. Mm. Um, See, I was at an ice cream van in a park and this kid ran over my foot with his wheelie trainer and I dropped my ice cream. Uh, and she demanded that this little boy get her a new ice cream and he exploded into tears just as this very charming man was jogging past. Mm. Anyway, the man stopped to see if everything was all right. And to explain uh, why I was cross with this little boy, I told a little lie and said that I was his teacher. Yes. And anyway, suddenly, <laughs> the 29 other children from this boy's class all appeared demanding ice creams. Which I had to get them because I was the teacher. <laughs> and then the man jogged on and I said to Miranda, quit, jog after him, keep chatting, I'll get the ice creams. <laughs> but um, I didn't follow him. No, she didn't jog no. after him. Then the real teacher appeared, wanting to know why I was buying 29 ice creams for children I'd never met. <laughs> so we ran. Well, well we, we galloped. Because <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Yes, it's, it's fun, fun to yes. gallop. And, and then, then the uh, children followed us. The children followed, and then the teacher thought that Miranda was trying to kidnap them. And <laughs> unfortunately, there was a policeman in the area who became very suspicious. Not helped by the fact that the ice cream van was following us because we forgot to pay for the ice cream. <laughs> Anyway, cut a long story short, once the armed response team had been stood up, <laughs> we had to go to the station where I explained that Miranda was one stick short of a lolly. Didn't take much convincing. They thought it was hereditary. <laughs> so, um, they let us off as long as we had an assessment. Yeah, so, um, you see, we... We just need to sit here for the session. We don't need a, what I call, assessment. Well, it's also what I call an assessment. I mean, we all call it an assessment. An assessment is an assessment. I mean, you'd call it an assessment if you ever spoke. Oh, I like these. Hello, I'm the mammoth one. Hello, I'm the medium one. And a big John, no, I am the tiny one. <laughs> oh, do you have a naval background? A harm, hearty. <laughs> You are coming across nutty. I will not have him thinking that we have got problems. Look at him, poised to write in his pad. Just sit quietly. It's not for long. Act normal. I was being normal. You were being a horse with a Russian doll. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have some coffee. Oh, that's a very confident jet, isn't it? <laughs> sort of a bit like a horse wing. <laughs> well, a horse has a very brazen wee. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so... Ah! Oh, hot coffee! Oh, no, it's really hot! Hot coffee in sensitive parts! And, um, oh, and I hate a wet pant. Um, I'm going to have to take my trousers off. I'm um, so sorry. I shall use this as a sarong, if I may. That's quite an expensive silk mix throw. Well, a pair of tough titties to you, sir. <laughs> I 
I'm not wandering around in my pants. And if you'd say you'd rather that than me wearing your silk mixed throw, then you are dirty. <laughs> A hula hula hula. So, Miranda, <laughs> question. Tell me, what do you think about me? It's a bit of Beyonce. Yeah. Question. Tell me, what do you think about this? <laughs> Sorry, that's quite hard not to do, actually. Interesting, you seem to be avoiding the question. So, Miranda, do you often lie? No. I just did. <laughs> You are so kind to show an interest, but there's nothing to discuss. We're only here so that we can say we've been. I'll pay you, of course. In fact, how much do you charge? It's £200. £200? £200? £200? Should have gone on the NHS. <laughs> well, for £200, you should ask him why you mouth that and word. Although usually you get them the wrong way around. What do you mean? Well, the other day at the surgery, you said, Wendy has been diagnosed obese. She heard. <laughs> well, you mouth words. Say sex. Yeah, so I can't just buzz it. So is there anything you'd like to talk about to make use of this time? No. No. no, 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 no. <laughs> we don't want to start talking about our childhoods, particularly Miranda's such an ugly baby. <laughs> insisted we put the baby grows on upside down. <laughs> Such fun! Do you want to talk about that, Miranda? No, 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 I don't want to start talking childhoods. Oh, yeah, she got rid of my dog when I was 11, although you did. Well, it kept pooing in the house. Only because you didn't let her out regularly for what I call poo opportunities. <laughs> I could blame you for a lot... Psychiatrist present. What's the problem? I've got an awkward itch. <laughs> I'm going to have to do a fast walk to get rid of it. <laughs> That's got it. Sorry. I was just having a little wander around. <laughs> We get people in my shop who do a little circular walk like that. We like to call it the sweep browse. You know, when you come into a shop and you immediately think, oh, no, this isn't what I was expecting. There's nothing here I want. But I can't suddenly leave because that would look rude, so I have to do this sort of... Oh, that's nice. And then go, the sweep browse. Good word, browse, isn't it? Browse. Yeah, she's a lovely word. See her as a female word. Thrust. <laughs> Male word. The queen of all words, of course, moist. <laughs> the king of all words, plinth. <laughs> Imagine a moist plinth. <laughs> oh, lovely. Do you think you could stop talking at some point? Yes. Easy. No humming. No whistling. No pretending you're singing at Wembley. <laughs> oh! What are you writing down? And about whom? Act normal! Stop saying that. I'm just standing here. <laughs> He is thinking that we've got problems. I know. He's a complete ass. Wrong way round! <laughs> Go and find out what he's written. Good idea. Okay. Cover me. Girl, 
Meant for each other, sent for each other, and liking it so. Me and my girl, no use pretending. We knew the ending a long time ago. Just a little bit of Noel Gay. <laughs> Read it was in shorthand. Well, if you concentrated more at Secretarial College. Oh, here we go. This is the kind of thing. I didn't want to go to Secretarial College. Well, you can't be happy running a joke shop. Joke slash gift. And yes, I am happy. 35, running a joke shop. Joke okay. slash gift. No wonder you can't get a man. I had a man. <laughs> Nearly. Gary. But the idiot messed that up. I don't want to talk about him. I've moved on. Is that true? Absolutely, yes. I don't think about him. Don't miss him. No. I mean, if you're asking me if I act out imaginary conversations with him using a painted plate on top of a mop, then no. Come in. Talk of the devil. What are you doing here? Sorry. Stevie told me you were here. Look, I, I know you're right in the middle of something, but I just couldn't wait to see you, Miranda. I can't handle it if you'll never forgive me. Look, I can't get you out of my mind. I'm in love with you. Miranda, will you? Miranda? Hmm? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Yes, no, don't think about him. Don't miss him. And my shop is enough of a career. Well, if you call wasting your life a career. What I call a waste of a life is you wasting your life worrying about me wasting my life. I think we're making progress. We are not making progress. We don't need progress or a session. Act normal. <laughs> Maybe it might help if you saw things from each other's perspective. Perhaps try a bit of role play. Miranda is Penny. Penny is Miranda. Fine, good idea. Oh, hello, everybody. I've explained. Don't I look marvellous? Right. Look at me, please. I want to be the centre of what I call attention. <laughs> Gossip for you, Geoffrey Warburton has been paying for prostitutes. <laughs> this is talking without actually saying anything. <laughs> hair flick, hair flick, keeping up appearances. Envy me, envy me. I didn't mean just insulting each other. Well, hello, I'm Miranda. Oh dear. I'm just going to waddle over here and waste more of my life. You've got nice plums, as it very much were. <laughs> Aren't I naughty? <laughs> oh, look, there's Gary. Isn't he delicious? But not as delicious as this pie. <laughs> Excuse me, what was that walk? It's a lollop. I do not lollop. You lollop. You were one of life's lollopers. You should be a lollipop lady. <laughs> There it goes. Such fun. Have you met my daughter, Miranda? I have no respect for any of her life choices. <laughs> I'm Miranda, and although my mother has done everything possible to improve my life, I'm incredibly ungrateful <laughs> and very clumsy. Ooh, look, here I go, falling over again. <laughs> well, that was all very interesting. That is exactly what wasn't meant to happen. We have just got to sit here for a few more minutes. He'll refer us for more sessions if we're not careful. Best, Best behaviour. <laughs> Is that real fruit? What do you mean? I mean... Is that fruit real? I don't know how to make it any clearer. Is that fruit part of the 200 pounds? 200 pounds? <laughs> Oh, I suppose it is, in a sense, yes. Hmm. Oh, well, in that case... <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, can I ask what you think you're doing? Oh, I'm playing a round of golf. <laughs> it's funny, because I'm not. <laughs> I'm just having a little picnic, do you mind? I've always been obsessed with food. I'm not obsessed with food. 
And this from the woman who, when mistaken for being pregnant, joined the local mothers-to-be group because, and I quote, they have free tea and biscuits and people randomly feel my breasts. It's the best fun I've ever had. <laughs> Mum, you're making me sound weird. You're the one sitting on a psychiatrist's floor having a picnic lunch at four in the afternoon. Fine. I shall eat it later. I might just have um, a little bit of something. The, um, could, yeah, actually, that would be very... can be a bit sticky, can't they? Oh, nice equipment, if you pardon the... 10-4, uh... <laughs> copy that. I'm on my way for the drop-off. <laughs> can I help? Oh! So Mrs. Hawtrey is here. And is everything okay? Can I? <laughs> now, listen here. We have taken Dr. Hopkins as hostage. <laughs> we will need half a million pounds. And if someone comes in this room, we will blow their brains out. <laughs> Hang on. Did she say Mrs. Hawtrey? Excuse me. Hello, this is very important. Does Mrs. Hawtrey have a loud cardigan and a red gin nose? Um. Yes. That will be all. Mrs. Hawtrey is president of the parish mixed doubles. I cannot let her see me leaving a therapist office. <sighs> we'll have to climb out of the window at the end. I will not have it going round the tennis club that we have got issues. We don't. You've got issues. Excuse me. Who was the one who presented three chocolate willies at the Harvest Festival? <laughs> Let's not start. Fine. Oh, no. I sent the text I was going to send to Stevie about Mum, too, Mum. Ah! <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Oh, it's a text from you. <laughs> Stuck with Mum, hell on earth, prepare many drinks. Interesting. Doesn't mean anything, does it? The mothers are just annoying for no real reason. You know, oh, darling, you bought a new coat. Annoying. You don't know why. It's, I love you. <laughs> it's just nothing personal. So, Doctor... Tell me, are you married? Annoyed again. You're clearly asking on my behalf. I was simply making conversation. And he's a very handsome man in a very highly paid profession. I knew it. You see, this is exactly the kind of thing. No, no, no. no. I can explain. When you have a daughter who has never had boyfriends... I've had boyfriends! How many times being flashed at does not constitute a relationship? <laughs> she needs a little bit of help. I do not need help. Thank you. The people you set me up with are ridiculous. Well, no offence. I don't mean you. You're lovely. Just um, not in a kind of mm, take me kind of a way. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I'm sure lots of people look at you and go, mm, take me now. But um, I'm more kind of. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean. I mean the other people you try and set me up with. Now look what you've done. What I've done. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh, it's from you. <laughs> He's a bit smug, isn't he? <laughs> he being a friend of ours. Yes, J Japanese. Um, our Japanese friend is a bit smug. So you were thinking about your friend, he... What's his surname? Oh, um... um he. He. <laughs> he, he. Um, he's a right laugh. <laughs> and I suddenly thought, I must tell Miranda how smug he, he is. <laughs> Right, but with slightly strange grammar. Oh, that's how we say things. Uh, Miranda's being a bit silly today isn't Miranda, uh, as a random example. Good, that's settled. As, as long as you're aware that I know that you meant me and not your friend, he, he. I don't know where you get these things from. Do you need to see a therapist? Are you always thinking people think you're smug behind your back? Oh, he's paranoid. Mm. Classic case. Yeah. I'm going to write this down in my notepad. Oh, me too. <laughs> oh, in fact, actually, role-play. I think if you sit here... Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm sure that would help you a lot, because um, you've clearly got some... Ith <laughs> 
confused. <laughs> is this your father? Yes, it is. Mm, interesting that you put it on your desk. Mm, interesting. Mm, interesting. Mm. I know what you're doing. You're trying to put the focus on me because you're panicking that you've revealed too much about yourselves. <laughs> you haven't got us pegged. He's totally got us pegged. <laughs> oh, hello. CD player on pause. Mm. What have you been listening to? Mmm, interesting. Mm. <laughs> Uh, now this speaks volume. Yes, a love ballad, eh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this way. Yeah. Shall we see what else they have? Of course, you learned to dance from me. No, I didn't. Because the only thing I get from you is a feeling of failure, guilt and very large feet. Where's this coming from? And we tried to get you to swim competitively to make the most of the natural flippers God gave you. No luck there either. Oh, well, I'm sorry I've been such a massive disappointment to you. Look, if you are going to eat, eat some Fruit! A oh, fattest! She took me to Overeaters Anonymous once, it's true. It's totally unnecessary. I can explain. Belinda was showing off that Tilly had issues, so I said that you did. Well, it seems the lies that we tell end up in a therapy session of one kind or another. No, both the occasions to which you refer were entirely Miranda's problems. Oh, and who gets me into these scrapes? You do! You can pin all you want on me, but from what you've heard over the last half an hour, it doesn't take a genius to work out that Miranda's a bit odd, isn't Miranda? Oh, well, now, look, it's all now, to look, me, now, why now, don't let you? Me just I have spent do you years, years about what your father what your thinks because, because, because he didn't want me with to turn all over my face. <laughs> we have got to get that notebook. <laughs> it doesn't look like shorthand now. No. Follow me, pincer movement. We'll go commando. Let's hope she doesn't really know what that means. <laughs> so, Anthony, if I may, <laughs> um, what else do you have in your CD collection? Give me my pad back. Oh, I have it now. So, what does it say? Dad, new toaster. Mum, garden knee pad. Don't forget presents from the pets. This is a Christmas list. <gasps> You drew a cat. <laughs> well, that's the end of the session. Would you like to book another appointment? No! no. What's this shorthand bit? Uh, just uh, some initial thoughts at the top of the session. Oh, what does it say? I can't wait to draw a kitten. <laughs> well, actually, it says... Mother and daughter, mother's protective instinct has become dominating, fueled by fear of how she's perceived by outer world. Daughter seeks mother's guidance and approval as she has yet to find her own voice. Absolute rubbish. <laughs> I think he's nutty himself. Driven wholly by money. Two hundred pounds. <laughs> Obsessed with his father. Yeah. Only listens to love ballads. Mm. Very odd. In fact, I think one more before we go. Please, Doctor, hit it. Mm, good Thank idea. You. Mm. Oh! oh. oh. Everything all right in here? Someone thought there might be a hostage situation. Hold on, it's you. The ice cream child catcher lunatics. It's her. She's mad. <laughs> There's more comedy here on BBC HD later this evening with that Mitchell and Webb look at 10 after the Arts of Germany. Next.